Good afternoon, and thank you for inviting me to speak today. I am, as they say, very, very sorry that I cannot be with you in person. I can't claim that we're busy in the Senate, but we did actually have a whole bunch of votes today. And you know what? I am deeply honored by the creation of the J. Rockefeller Lecture. As you all know, finding a solution to our nation's long-term care problems has a long personal history uh, with me in terms of my family, and there's a lot of, a lot of passion that just comes from that. Um, and also since the whole Pepper Commission, I mean, we really came up with a solution to the long-term care. It passed 11 to 4, as I recall, and it was de declared dead on arrival. But Judy and I were not declared dead on arrival, and we've been charging ever since, and we continue to do so. So uh, that was a quarter of a century ago. It's a long time ago. Um, it's the one thing everybody's going to need. Everybody's going to need it. And we don't have it. We have Medicaid, but that's all. And you've got to spend yourself down and all that stuff. Same things we were talking about back in the Pepper Commission. So it's my hope that this lecture serves as a launch pad for ideas that will help address this critically important issue. This room is filled with the leading champions for improving long-term care and quality of life for older people and people with disabilities. All of you have the expertise, the passion, and the commitment needed to make real changes to our system that are long overdue. Many of my closest allies on this issue are with you today, in particular Judy Stein of the Center for Medicare Advocacy and my beloved longtime friend and total expert, Judy Fetter um, of Georgetown University. We tried to get into Congress and didn't quite make it. I tried to help. Anytime you're around, Judy, I'll, 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 I'll be there for you. Just count on it. Along with Henry Claypool of the American Association of People with Disabilities, I'm glad that you're there. Lafonza Butler of SEIU and Lene Rutledge of the National Council on Disabilities. This is a very esteemed group, and you've authored a report on long-term care that I believe should serve as the blueprint for action going forward. Their report did not shy away from the difficult issues. It tackled head-on how to finance long-term care. That's what nobody wants to do, but you did the unique challenges of facing people with disabilities and the need for a well-trained and fairly compensated workforce. Huge subjects. You took them on. Well, the path forward will not be easy, we continue on with our fight. I hope that today's discussion will serve as a continuation of the conversation that we've been having for a long time, and we certainly are not going to stop now. With all of you leading the way, long-term care will become accessible and affordable for all Americans, not just a privileged few. So I, I totally thank you again for naming a lecture after me. Um, I like that, that's a nice thing. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, so you asked me to speak today and for this tremendous honor, which I've just spoken about, I wish you all the best for a successful event and look forward to continuing our important work for the American people.